And look, this is when Taylan was born. So he's going to be 17 in December. So that was almost 17 years ago. So, you know, been heavy a long time, been overweight a very long time. Get caught up in memory lane, that's for sure. Now we need a new box. <laughs> no, oh, wow. Oh, heavy again. This used to be my favorite picture of us. Hmm. It's kind of hard to look at. Just seeing that yeah, chokes yeah. me up because it, I wasn't taking care of myself like I should have. And I wasn't taking care of my family in the healthiest way. And it just, it, it just hurts. Just knowing what I know now, and I wish I had the tools back in the day to be able to do that. Um, but it does hurt. It hurts to see myself like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm always emotional about it, so. It's such a gradual process. I don't think anyone wants to be overweight. You just kind of become overweight. Here, everything is centered around food. Every social event is around good food. And it's just how everybody's brought up. You know, I was brought up that way. But my weight didn't really truly kick in until after high school, where I was getting overweight. Didn't really care what I did and how I did it, and just gonna live my life however I want. So this is where I keep my before pictures, um, just to keep give me a reminder of who I used to be and how unhealthy I was. I know it's me, and I say him, because he, he is a different person than, than what I see now. This keeps me mindful of where I do not want to be. I want to be here. I don't want to be that guy no more. I was I always felt like the biggest girl. And I, I was, you know, I was, I was chubby, just always felt different. And then it just snowballed out of there. And then one day you just kind of look at yourself and like, what happened? You'd think going to the store and increasing your size and your clothes would make you stop, but it, it doesn't work quite like that, you know? And I used to say it was Brad's fault, you know, for always just loving me no matter what I looked like. Life was not very active. Come home from work, sit on the sofa, watch TV, snacking, eating, just never really paying attention what we ate. To even exercise would be the craziest thought because just didn't have the energy. This is where I keep my old sleep apnea equipment. This is, a, of course, is a, a CPAP machine that I would have to wear every night. And, you know, I would just have it here by my, my bedside. These are all the supplies that you had to store and keep, you know, headgear and whatnot. Tubing. Also, I had diabetes, so I'd have to prick myself twice a day, morning and night. But I was feeling tired all the time, and I knew something was going on. I did my bl blood work, and it came back as a diabetic, and I think I cried for two weeks about that because... It was very scary because diabetes is such a slow killer. And I thought being treated for diabetes, I would feel better, but I really did. And I was still tired. I thought, oh my God, you know. And of course they always say to lose weight, lose weight, which when you are heavy, you kind of don't want to hear that. Cause it's like today I'm, I'm, I am fat and tomorrow I will be. So what can you do to help me right now? I had a high blood pressure and I just didn't want to realize I had a problem. And then that's when I got a blood clot in my leg and then and he's got truly serious. And then we considered weight loss surgery. And I knew about a lap band. I knew about gastric bypass. And then we went to the weight loss seminar. I had him come, because now he, his wheels start turning. Going to the seminar really made me understand what kind of risk I'm at if I don't take action. Before surgery, my peak weight was probably 242 pounds. My peak weight was 301 pounds weight loss surgery. It's a scary thing to consider doing, but we said, well, we'll just do it together. We're glad we chose Lafayette General because you don't just get surgery. You get a whole program with the education and support system that goes along with it. 
it's actually a year program. So you do the surgery and for 12 months, they outline a recommended diet and a recommended exercise routine. That's their role is to provide the education on weight loss. Okay, so you started out with 122 pounds of fat. Wow. And you're down to 51 pounds of fat mass. And you did great. It's on the normal range. 11 inches in your yeah. waist. 3.2 in your neck, 5 in your arm, 13 in your chest, 11 in your waist, 6 in your hips, and 1.3. 40 inches. Nice. Good. That's all that exercising y'all do. Yeah. You hear people that go to New Orleans for weight loss surgery, but that can be difficult because you can't just up and go to New Orleans to quickly have them evaluate diet to make sure that everything is proper. It's different from walking in, getting a face-to-face -face and getting personal than on the phone. That's why I'm glad we did locally and not somewhere mm -hmm. else. I've actually gone see the dietitian so I would call them up and they'd say, yeah, come on in, we'll check you and we'll, we'll measure you out and we'll weigh you up and, and kind of see. Awesome. 17% body fat. Good job. So you've lost 126.7 pounds. Making those connections also helps us to be accountable too. You know, we want to be able to say, hey, look what we can do now and look what we've done. And you don't want to let them down because they see us all the time. Somewhere, if we go somewhere else, you, I'm not accountable anymore. I feel like I'm accountable to Lafayette General. They're doing everything they can for me. So I'm going to do everything I can for them. And it's always good to have a good support group around you. They always have educated people there that can answer any questions that you have, any problems. Great group of people. They do care and have the best interest of their patients at heart. And there's not a pill out there that is a quick fix. Sometimes people think that, oh, if I get the weight loss surgery, it's going to change everything and everything's going to be great and I don't have to do anything. And But no, it's a tool. It makes your stomach smaller so you're allowed to eat just so much food. But you still have to exercise, you still have to eat right, take out the bad things, put in the good things. And it's a slow process. The surgery kind of speeds up the process, but it doesn't control that you're gonna keep that weight off. Just taking advantage of everything they provide, you will be very successful. It will be. Because they, they line it out for you. All you gotta do is follow it. The number one thing I would say about this whole process is that it has allowed us to establish better habits. We learn how to prepare our food right, how to eat it right. The biggest change with us is uh, the refrigerator usually has a lot more fruits, you know, uh, vegetables. This is usually healthy cheese, a lot of eggs and yogurts and, and what have you. Um, they, they would be a bunch of sodas. Oh yeah, that was a big thing. This drawer it, right here be full of sodas. was just always filled with Coke. Now it's our water container. <laughs> we, we don't bring Cokes anymore. And Lafayette General gave us what to look for, how to read a label. It's all in the binder. They lay it all out for you. We cannot go back to those old ways because the way will come back on. And that's where Lafayette General comes in play. They teach you everything that you're supposed to do, and it helps. Now, eating right is normal to us in a good way. We just don't feel like we're on a diet. People that are on a diet, have, they think they have to sacrifice good food to be able to eat right. It's not done that way. We eat right. That way it never feels like a diet. It's not as daunting as I thought it was going to be, or as hard, or as unsatisfying. I feel very satisfied, you know, and this whole process has allowed me to give myself time to adapt to those changes and not give up. My peak weight was 242 pounds, and I currently weigh 156 pounds. My peak weight was 301, and I currently weigh 173. Life right now is great. It's awesome. Never experienced so much energy, so much life. I didn't think I was going to be as active as I am. 
I just thought being active would be, you know, being able to go shopping without being exhausted. <laughs> or tying my shoe without getting yeah. out of breath. But it's gotten way past that. That's the biggest benefit, is we can do more things, we want to do more things, we want to go running, we want to go hiking, we want to go biking. I did a triathlon. I trained for it and I gave everything I had to it. For a person that never did anything, never exercised, never did anything. I mean, if I can do it, anyone can do it. It's been good for us and also people around us. Our son, Talon, is being affected by our weight loss because he is making healthier choices. Talon will take what he sees us doing and hopefully bring that into his own family life when he is out into the world. We want to teach him the right way, the healthier way. Decided to take it down these pictures uh, because I am no longer this guy. It's time to move on. This was the past and this is the future. I want to be the healthy, motivating, energizing person for me and my family and my son. Life has passed us by and didn't even realize that it did until now missed out on all kinds of stuff and now it's like I'm not missing out on anything. It still blows my mind some of the things I can do now that I couldn't do before. I've changed so much. No more sleep apnea, no more diabetes. I'm happy now, much happier than I've ever been. And then it's only old to Lafayette General, the bariatric department. They gave us our life back. We're the Broussards, and Lafayette General is our choice. <laughs>